course, a nice relaxing Sunday at home. Just having a look through the Antiques Trade Gazette, actually. It's the Art Market Weekly. We all read it in the trade. Very interesting. Wonderful things coming up for sale. Oh, my God. Don't let me look at this jewellery. Oh, this beautiful diamonds and rubies. And Oh, there's no point in me looking. I've still got the watch at the pawnbroker's. Been there about 10 years. Probably cost me about 24 grand for a 2,000 pound loan. Terrible, really. Very interesting, though. I mean, all sorts of news, you know, all the latest things that are going on, and also all the sort of, you know, forgeries and things like that, of things that are stolen. Well, it's all very interesting. You never know where things might turn up. I mean, look at this. Copies are turning up in auction across the world. In particular, the artist John de Buffet. The Voyage en Auto from 1946 is apparently a very, very copied and a very hard to decipher whether or not it's a genuine work of art. The foundation of Jean de Buffet in Paris have announced that they are willing for paintings to be sent to them by courier or by person to verify the accuracy. Um, however, if it's not genuine, what do they do with it? They throw them on the bonfire. Don't send anything to get it, get it verified at Jean de Buffet, obviously. Extraordinary, isn't it? All these things going on. I mean, you imagine all this forgery and everything, and all this crookery, and you know, you always imagine it to be happening, don't you? Under the arches of Vauxhall or Waterloo or Paris in the Paris Underground Metro, somewhere kind of seedy. Very strange, isn't it? You know all about this, David. What forgery? Yes, have you read, the, read all the stories? What a great deal. Oh, okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. Oh well, maybe it's tea time. Have you time for tea yet, Statham? Could do with some of those nice, um, those nice chocolate eclairs or something. You got nothing for me, Statham? Let's have some tea.